Come in. And they're on their way here, you say? Okay, then. I'll see them right away. Goodbye. It was recently <sighs> announced that at the end of the month, the locally produced Gemini award-winning TV series, Wapu Spey, will be wrapping production on its fifth and final season. And while the studio was still buzzing with activity, the atmosphere wasn't as somber as one would expect. Creator Dennis Jackson understands and accepts the decision made by APTN. The Aboriginal People's Television Network is, is a national network for Aboriginal people. Uh, but for all of Canadians and so there's only a limited amount of resources to go around and so so you know we had our series we had our series and we had our run so it's also you know about giving other filmmakers a chance to to create their stories you know across the country the creators broke their own records as season five will bring eight new episodes the most they have ever done in a single season plus the fifth season will roll out what will probably end up being the most talked about show of the entire run canadian icon david suzuki himself will lend his voice and help teach the importance of proper time management in a futuristic science fiction styled episode titled freedom fighters you know every filmmaker has their post-apocalyptic story uh, so, I mean, this is my little Wapus Bay post-apocalyptic uh, story. It's pretty humorous. After the season ends, the producers will send the show off with a 90-minute movie of the week finale, ensuring that they have the time needed for proper closure for every beloved character. After the demise of Wapus Bay, Jackson plans to start fresh and build another stop-motion project from scratch with the hopes of bringing along most members of his current team. But make no mistake about it, Wapus Bay will be missed. I would hope that uh, uh, they would remember that uh, First Nations are real, for, for, for one thing, and we're here to stay. And uh, a lot of the northern communities are still like what you see on Wapus Bay. I hope, you know, people remember uh, the stories. I mean, that's where the the episodes uh, come from is the stories. The stories we're trying to write is a mixture of, of Aboriginal knowledge and, uh, and mainstream culture. And that's what the whole series was about. And if, if people remember the stories uh, and learn a little bit at the same time, you know, having a chuckle at, at the episodes, because it is a humorous uh, family show, uh, that's what I hope people get from it. When production finally wraps, every set, every character, and every tiny prop will be carefully packaged and put into storage. Unless a new broadcaster comes on board, the feeling is that Wapus Bay will never return as a yearly series. However, the possibility of making a second movie of the week somewhere in the future will always be an option. For Shaw TV, I'm Curtis Anderson. Hmm, that's nice.